So, I've been thinking a lot about famous animals recently. Now, there are a lot of famous animals that we know of, both real and fictional. Uh, for instance, Benji, uh, my dog Kevin, uh, White Fang, uh, the pig from Babe, Old Yeller, uh, Stuart Little, uh, the hamster from Asian Anal Persuasion 7, H.P. Uh, Lovecraft had a cat, I don't I don't remember its name off the top of my head, you can just Google it for me. Um, but perhaps more famous than all of these animals combined was Schrodinger's cat. Now, it wasn't a real cat, it was a hypothetical cat existing inside of a hypothetical box. In that box was a death trap, and the death trap would be triggered releasing poison gas if it detected the emission of a radioactive particle. And because we cannot determine when that particle will be radiated because of the way half-life works, the cat at any given moment was neither dead or alive. Now that cat was a paradox in and of itself. It's quite an interesting one too, but, but often it brushes under the rug more realistic and more practical possibilities for quantum mechanics. For instance, a theory that I have developed in my own right, Schrodinger's cock. Now, just hold on for a second. So, say you have a large human-sized container that, that has a, a hole in it, just big enough for your ding-dong to fit. A, a ding-dong, ding-dong hole, because you are a ding-dong. And on the other side of that hole is a person, possibly a fellow ding-dong, and, and at no given moment can you determine that that individual is a man or a woman. Now, not because they're requesting GameStop customer support, but because you have, let's say, a, a population of 100, 50 men and 50 women. At any given moment, men and women can be entering and exiting the box, one at a time. And you are always receiving heads, so the baton is always being passed back and forth, okay? At any given moment, you can be receiving head from a man or a woman. Now this poses an interesting question. Are you gay? Or are you straight? Are you both? Are you neither? Can you be neither? It cannot be determined. But, but nevertheless, because you're probably at some point receiving head from a man, just based on statistics, you're gay now. <laughs> gay boy. <laughs> What's wrong, gay boy? You gonna cry? <laughs> oh, you gonna cry? You gonna pee your pants, huh? <laughs> you gonna shit and come, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but <laughs> if such a person were to exist, they would possibly be the most powerful individual on the planet. They would have access to, to the, the nukes. They would have access to the blockbuster catalog. Um, and they would wield the quantum dong because any penis that exists inside of the quantum glory hole box would be a quantum dong, a, a quantum ding dong dong. A, a, a ding dong's quantum ding dong, if you will. And that's a scary thought. So uh, my message to you today is to keep your PPs away from quantum devices, ladies and gentlemen, please. And um, also that person would probably have the ability to time travel just based on their sexual ambiguity alone. I mean, it's just a thing that most transgender people have already. You just didn't know it. Um, and that's actually what I'm trying to recreate right here. So if you just, excuse me. Travel through time. I, I traveled through dimensions. <sighs> Mission log file five. Um, we 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 made it. I'm here. I I can see the rings, and and the hills, and I, I am actually here. Um, I will be experimenting now, and I will keep. You updated. Stay tuned.